Hello everyone. So uh, from my mails, I, I found out that lot of people, lot of you people were having troubles with uh, designing CMOS circuits and uh, from my Boolean expression. So I thought I will just make a video and I will just uh, give two examples that I think would make your work easier. So for the first example, let us think about uh, an expression A plus B plus C into D. that is a 4 input k a plus b plus c into d here we see that we have a b c a b c those uh, those are all this will pass through or gate and the d will pass through uh d will pass through uh, uh, the whole thing will pass through d in uh, uh, in and gate orientation so we actually do not design this uh, we in we have seen that we design NAND and NOR gates that is we in CMOS we design inverted gates that is if this is equal to y we will actually design y bar a plus b plus c whole, uh, into d whole bar now here since we have used the bar the plus signs will be replaced by NOR gates and the multiplication will be replaced by uh, NAND gate now, in case of NOR gates, two input NOR gates, we had two PMOS in series, a pull up network. We'll just be drawing the pull up network, the pull down network will come naturally. So, in case of NAND gate, that is uh, A dot B bar, the two PMOS were in parallel. PMOS parallel. In A plus B whole bar, that is in case of NOR gate, PMOS were in series so here in case of a b and c the pmos will be in series since this is nor gate orientation so we we can make three pmoses in series we name them a name them b c now this whole thing is multiplied to d that is it's in the nand this d is in nand orientation with this thing that is in nand orientation the pmos has to be parallel so this d is parallel to the whole thing so now let us check whether the pull up network is working pull up network uh, we are we are designing y bar now we can see when will y bar be uh, let us suppose if d is equal to 1 y bar will depend on a plus b plus c if either of these three is 1 y bar will be 0 that is uh, since we are talking about the pull up network we want to make the output is we want to see if the output is equal to 1 so the output will be 1 when the anything inside this bar is 0 that is if d is 0 the output will be 1 because when two things are multiplied a and b for, for output to be 1 in case of NAND either a will be 0 or b will be 0 so in this case either d will be 0 or, or a plus b plus c will be 0 if d is 0 if here d if d is 0 this pmos opens up since this pmos opens up uh, the vdd will be connected to the output so as a result if d is 0 we will get output is equal to uh, 1 again if d is 1 this is open so vdd is not connected to this line and as a result we have to turn on a b c all of them together since they are in series so if d is equal to 1 both a uh, a b and c all of them have to be 0 in order for the output to be connected to, uh, to vdd using this path so as a result, uh, our pull up network works perfectly. Now we have to design the pull down network. In pull down network is the opposite of pull up network. That is, these three series elements will become par. These three series elements will become parallel elements. That is, we will have three NMOS parallel. And the whole thing will be in series with the D since it was parallel in the uh, pull up network so it will be in series with t so this is our t this is our a this is our b this is our 
see now this gives the result y bar if we want y what what can we do if we want y <coughs> uh, if you want y the first thing we need to do is let's just erase this so if you want y this point is gives us y bar since this point gives us y bar what we have to do is we have to uh, invert this point how can we invert this point we can design an inverter The basic CMOS inverter here ground here VCC if this is connected in this way and we get output here we'll get Y bar and here we'll get Y so this this connection will give the output Y is equal to A plus B plus C whole into D now let us look at another example which will make it even more clear a b bar plus c d this creates a problem a b bar plus c d so here in the earlier example we we saw that a b c d all of them were separate in this case this c and d c dot d are separate but this a and b this a b bar are joined by the bar so we can apply de morgan's theorem here a b whole bar is equal to a bar plus b bar now see we have a b c and d all separate this is equal to y so in case of cmos what we do we design y bar y bar is equal to a bar plus b bar plus c d whole bar now we can see that this is in odd orientation with this is in odd orientation with this as a result, these three things will be in series if we consider the pull up network. So, firstly, we will have a PMOS A, then we will have a PMOS B, then, then we will have something that will give us our output CD. Now, CD are in AND orientation. As a result, in case of pull up network, CD will have to be parallel D C so C D is parallel and from here if we take the output we will get Y bar here and this is our pull up network now let us see let us check if our pull up network works uh, we can see that in order for Y bar to be 0 whatever is inside the bar would have to uh, in order for y bar to be 1 whatever is inside the bar will have to be 0 that because 0 bar is equal to 1 now inside the bar we have three components which are in series or which are in or orientation we know in case of or the output will be 0 if all the inputs are 0 if any one of the input is 1 the output will be 1 so here a bar has to be 0 b bar has to be 0 Sorry. A bar has to be 0, B bar has to be 0 and C D has to be 0. In order for C D to be 0, either C or D, any one of them can be 0. We can say if A bar is 0, this B mass is, this B mass is on. If B bar is 0, this B mass is 1. And here, if C is 0, this is on. If D is 0, this is on. Since they are parallel, if any one of the signal is 0, the output will be connected to the VDD and we will get Y bar. So we have designed the PMOS correct, uh, PMOS or the pull up network correctly. We have to design the pull down network. Here we can see A bar and B bar were in series. So in case of pull down network, they have to be in parallel. So we connect two more, two N MOS, A bar, B bar, and this C, C and D were in parallel, and in this. Since they are in parallel, they will be in series. But one thing is to be remembered that this CD is in series with A bar and B bar. So, since in the PMOS side, this is in series, in the NMOS side, it will be in parallel. But again, since C and D it themselves are in parallel in pull up network, here they will be in series. We 
will have C here, you will have P here, and you will have crown here. Again, we get Y bar from this. If we want to get Y, what, what we do? We just remove this from here. We draw an inverter. Here we have our crown. From here we get y, y is equal to a b bar plus c b. You can, this is the CMOS uh, implementation of this equation. You can always use uh, TSCH to simulate and check whether the output is correct or not. So I would, uh, I would request you all to practice some of these Boolean, Boolean functions and simulate, actually simulate them in DSCH uh, in order to see whether the results are right or wrong. One thing is to be noted, it has to be noted that here we have A bar B and B bar. So this A bar and B bar might or might not be readily available. If they are not readily available, we have A. So that A can, uh, this A signal can go to an inverter. From here, I'll get A bar and this A bar will be connected to the circuit. Similarly, a B can go to another inverter. From there, we'll get B bar, which will be used to uh, used up in the circuit. That's how we can actually man manufacture, we can actually design the whole circuit. I hope this discussion will make uh, things a little clear about how uh, this, uh, how this CMOS circuit works and, and this will clear all the confusion. If you still have confusion, uh, please feel free to share them in the dis discussion box. Thank you so much.